back to the channel on ProEnzo vids and this is my quick thoughts on a signing that has been announced but not official by the club but it's going to be an official probably any day now and that's uh, Dejan Assi, the former Warriors and Cowboys utility who um, is a very handy player and has a lot of skill and plenty of potential in my eyes and um, you know how he has uh, unfortunately been released by the Warriors um, he got that was obviously official news at the end of the um, uh, season fixture uh, when the Warriors played the last game against the Titans. They announced um, all their departures a week after that Titans uh, loss um, in round 25. And uh, yeah, unfortunately for Dejan like Assi, he, he was part of the departing list. And uh, from there and onwards, um, there wasn't any sort of clarification where he would end up after getting released, released by the Warriors. And um, But uh, now he's found a new club for next year, apparently, and that's uh, the Parramatta Eels. He decided to deal with the Eels uh, for 2023. And 2024, I assume it's to be a backup half, but could be a, a decent jersey 14 um, as well. Uh, potentially could slide into that jersey 14 role, you never know. Um, but yeah, no, he's a very talented young player, in my opinion, Dejan, Dejan Asi. I still find it a bit shocking that the Warriors let him go, but again, I can see why, because had uh, Mario Martin coming to the club, uh, Luke Medcalf and Ronald Volkman all there as well, as, as probably the more preferred options, I assume. Um, which, which is fair enough, I guess. But I think... Um, yeah, no, I think that it's a decent pickup for Parramatta. I do think that there's potential for Dejan Assi to develop into something special. Uh, not that it's going to happen anyway, or maybe it will, but I, I, don't, I doubt it at this stage. I doubt it. But um, there is talk that Dylan Brown and Mitchell Moses could be on the out in the future. Dylan, Dylan Brown linked to the Dolphins. And as for um, Mitchell Moses linked to the Bulldogs and Tigers. And look, it's just it's silly rumours. You know, you can't believe everything you see, obviously. And I'm not doing that. I'm not believing what I see, but... Just if it ever came to a situation where one of them had to leave, I do think that Dejan Nassi, since he has potential and so much promise, I do think he should be one of the next sort of half to step in line if Moses or Brown did depart, in my opinion. So, um, yeah, it could be definitely a handy fill-in or a handy, a handy future of replacement, I, I, in fact, for either Brown or Moses if um, one of them ever went down with injury or actually had to leave the club. So, for thought I might just add that in quickly. Um... But yeah, no, look, I think in general it's a decent pickup. Like, I think that at Cowboys he showed some uh, potential when he was playing there. And obviously when he signed with the Warriors um, in 2022, you know, back in April, um, that game on my birthday when he played, he made his club debut for the Warriors against the Raiders at uh, Lord and Daly Stadium there. And um, he had a blinder. He scored a try. He set up a couple of tries too. And the Warriors won that game by a point with Sean Johnson field goal. And... Uh, yeah, he started in club debut there, Dave Donassi. I think he's always, you know, been a player that I've rated pretty high, like, highly. Like, I really do rate Dave Donassi. I've always liked him as a player, I think. And, uh, yeah, no, I think he's got a lot of potential. So, shame it's Parramatta. But, um, no, look, he's a good player. I think that, you know, he should go well at that club. But, yeah, we'll see anyway. But, um, look, that's my quick thoughts on the sign of Dave Donassi for the Parramatta Eels. Uh, let me know your general thoughts on him going to the Eels in the comment section down below. And um, as well as uh, subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, just want to point out everyone that I am only a couple of subs away from 2,800 subscribers. And uh, obviously, at the end of the year, I want to get to 300 subscribers. That was obviously a yearly goal there to get to uh, 300 subscribers. So if we can get there by the end of the year, that'd be, that would be greatly appreciated. And just as well as uh, subscribing now if you're new to the channel, that will also contribute to helping me get to that goal of 3K subscribers. So just for my add, in, add that in quickly. And um, yeah, like the video as well if you enjoyed. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you on the very next video.